The small city of Eagle Pass, Texas continues to be the site of a political and physical standoff between the state and the federal government. The U.S. Supreme Court ordered Governor Greg Abbott to allow Border Patrol agents to remove razor wire from a park along the Rio Grande. But instead, the Texas National Guard is adding even more wire. National correspondent John Moan is in Eagle Pass this afternoon for us. Uh, John, what's the situation out there today? Well, I can tell you how the people feel. While the political drama continues in Washington, whether lawmakers can actually tinker uh, with immigration and border security laws and change them, the real life policy consequences play out here in real life of doing nothing, much to the chagrin of the people of Eagle Pass, Texas. Are they letting you guys in? I was going to do a quick patrol, I don't know. We're going to see what they say. The answer to these United States Border Patrol agents was no, because they turned around from Shelby Park in Eagle Pass, Texas, now occupied by the state's National Guard and the Department of Public Safety. Federal law states that U.S. Border Patrol has jurisdiction anywhere, public or private, up to 25 miles inland from an international boundary. Are you serious? They said you can't go in. No, but it's fine. No, no, it's not. Maverick County Democratic Party Chair Juanita Martinez says this scene shows the dysfunction between Texas's governor and the federal government. I said, safety from what? All this is, is just a political stunt by Abbott to make people scared. And oh my gosh, why? Because the Republicans don't have anything else to run on. Armed guards and state police occupy the park, which Republican Governor Greg Abbott says is necessary to enforce the state's own border security program called Operation Lone Star, which has already cost Texas taxpayers billions of dollars. They don't give a damn about this community. They don't give a damn about this either. For them, it's just political theater, so they can use it to campaign on. That's all it is. This is all happening as Senate negotiators in Washington are working on a bipartisan bill that would significantly restrict illegal crossings on the southern border, but is in jeopardy as House Republicans are saying they won't vote for that legislation because they think it's not strong enough. Presidential candidate Donald Trump is badmouthing it, even though it delivers things as previous administration asked for, like increased executive authority to shut down a border. It's uh, demoralizing. You know, we could have a united front we could have the federal and the state working together jointly. We could be having and strengthening our relationships with our biggest trading partner in Mexico. Local state representative Eddie Morales says Eagle Pass needs federal lawmakers to compromise. And so the message should be clear to Congress. Do your job. It's been over 30 years that we have a failed immigration system and it's time for them to do their job, especially if they talk that much about it and complain that much about it and have made it their number one issue. The last time lawmakers majorly altered immigration laws, 1986. Maverick County Sheriff Tom Schmerber, a former Border Patrol agent, saying change is badly needed. I hear the news that uh, Pre uh, President Trump uh, wants to, for the Republicans to keep on not, not to find a solution right now because it helps him with the politics, you know, but it doesn't help us in this area, in this county. The sheriff adding the status quo from the Democrat currently in the White House doesn't help either, with record crossings consistently putting a strain on local resources. My deputies have been split to do what they're supposed to be doing and my, more than immigration stuff, you know, so so I'm losing the manpower and, 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 and uh, it's, it's costly uh, money-wise too. As for agreement in Washington, the locals we've spoken with say they are jaded, they are cynical, they've been through bipartisan agreements blowing up before during the 10 years of George W. Bush, Barack Obama, and now potentially Joe Biden. They want compromise, which has become a dirty word in Washington. They want results, and they want to be helped. Chris? Our John Moan reporting in Eagle Pass, Texas. John, thank you.